Well, good morning and welcome back to another one. It's it's early. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Today, not sure when you're watching this, today is the 4th of July. I am Canadian. However, I've got a lot of American friends and I've got a lot of you folks that are American that watch my channel. So, happy 4th of July. Uh, we have our own holiday here called July 1st. It's Canada Day. I was working that day so we couldn't celebrate. So today... Ooh, stick around, stick around. We got beer, boats, barbecue. Sounds like a redneck stream to me. We are about to head out on the water on Lake St. Clair. Downloaded a new app. It's supposed to tell me, it's supposed to tell me. It told me that the water's calm. It lied to me yesterday, but today I'm getting a second chance. We're gonna go out, we bought a new tube, bought a new rope. We're gonna go out and try tubing with a new boat. There's the boats part. Beer, well the cooler's always got beer in it. And we're going to be barbecuing this afternoon. We're going to have some ribs, some uh, burgers, some hot dogs, chicken. Anyway, we're going to head out on the water. There's not going to be a lot of conversation on the water because this is our first time tubing. And i got to pay attention to what's going on. But I will have lots of video, I guarantee that. Then we're going to head back home, fire the barbecue. And I even, don't tell Jen, but I think I bought some bangers for tonight too. Whew. Yeah, 4th of July, Canada style. Canada stuff. I'm a Canadian. Let's go. Right, guys we made our way back home what an awesome time on the water just that's a one of the best purchases i ever made anyway getting some meat going here there's our uh, ground beef and that's some sliced up bacon we're going to mix that in with it i'm also going to cut up some onions and mix that in with it on the barbecue right now mm -mm -mm. i got some pork ribs on the barbecue right now and i also got some beef back ribs on the barbecue so i got them on a little early Gonna try and, you know, the burgers go quick. And we got some hot dogs for Ella, and we also got a salad, we got some people coming over. It's gonna be a good time. A real good time. Let's go out and have a look at the ribs. Look at that smoke roll. All right, so these here are the pork ribs. These are the beef back ribs. I got a whole chicken up there. I'm gonna put some chicken breast on shortly. Let's have a camera, I might wanna give these a flip. So when you're gonna cook the pork ribs, I'm gonna give you a quick tip. On the back, there's a real thin, thin membrane. Peel that off, use a paper towel to peel that off. I was gonna show you today and I forgot all about it, but just get to the corner going. It's on the back side, it's on the bone side of the ribs. Pull it off. You really don't want to eat that. Besides, it stops your seasoning from, seeking, from going through the meat. Looking pretty good. All right, let's see how things are going. 
beef ribs are looking good. The pork ribs are looking pretty good. Got the, that's the back portions off of the pork ribs up there. Get a little bit of color on the chicken. And the burgers I just put on. And yes, they look like baseballs. I mix the bacon in there, make, made it into like a baseball size. And I leave it like that and put it on the grill. After a few minutes, I'll then take the spatula. And we'll make them the thickness that we want. Pro tip from not a pro. I'm not a pro tip. been digging into this the uh, ribs oh my god the beef ribs are fantastic I've already had my share of those I'm gonna get some pork ribs now the burgers are done hot dogs are done I'm gonna keep eating and that's all I got for today's video I hope you all enjoyed that happy July 1st to my Canadian family and friends and happy 4th of July to my American family and friends I appreciate you all keep your heads up we'll see you all in the next one later It fell over.